so I was just here at this store a couple of hours ago. Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Ray's World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you like that little um, intro that I did with my um, <laughs> hunt for this doll that I'm about to review. I finally got my hands on the Wild Hearts crew, one of them anyway, the Kena Roswell and she is absolutely gorgeous. I think all the dolls in this line are gorgeous. If you watch my review, you probably say she thinks all dolls are gorgeous. I do most of the time, but, you know, I usually still try to give my honest opinion about a, re a um, review and tell you what you want to hear or what I expect to hear from a review. Because my first, re my first um, reaction of this doll, my first review that I watched on YouTube was very negative. Um, I kind of felt like the person that did the review was kind of looking for flaws because that's all they talked about when they did their review was the doll's flaws. They gave nothing positive and it kind of put me, put a bad taste in my mouth and I felt some type of way because I don't understand what people expect for a, pre a Playline doll and you know they kept the price pretty good because the price is $14.97 and I think that's very affordable and I think you get a lot for that you know I've been collecting dolls for a long time so you know this is pretty decent now I feel like if it would have been in the $25 price range you know or up you know then we might could you know expect a little bit more but I feel for the $14.97 price point, I feel they did a good job. So this here is the packaging of the box. I love the packaging. I love the artwork. Here's a picture of the doll, all fabulous. Here's another picture of all the girls there together. I want all of them. I just cannot wait to get the whole set of them. They're awesome. And then here is the other side of the box. And the box is one of those boxes where you just hate throwing it away. And, you know, you just want to find something that you can use to um, to recycle it because it's really, really nice. But I'm going to get this beautiful doll out of the box and we're going to look at her up close and in detail. Kena is free from her packaging and I am excited to have her out of that box. I've unsnipped everything so that I can remove it so that it will be a lot easier for this review so let's start with her um her hat it's the barrette style um it's let me take it off her head i wanted to show you guys what she looked like out of the box first so let me give her a spin around i misted her hair a little bit with water and i didn't put a lot on there just a little but this is what her head her head looks like in the back with the hat on so i'm just going to give her a spin so that you guys can check her out Okay, and then I'm going to remove her barrette from her head so I can show you guys. This is what her um, hat looks like. You've got this um, um, safety pin with a chain with a heart hanging from it with two little X's there on the side. And it, it's, it's, it looks like a leather hat to me. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And it's kind of hard. And I, I think it's okay, in my opinion. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not a hat person, um, but, you know, hey. But I think she wears the hat very well. So I'll probably display her some with the hat and without the hat. But here's what she looks like without the hat off. And I really love this um, color of her hair. I think her hair color is absolutely um, vibrant. And I love it a lot. It's a mixture of black and this um, like royal blue. And a lot of people were complaining about the hair, I guess. They didn't like um, the end of it, how they ended the hair. But I like it. Everybody has to form their own opinion of it. Everybody's going to have their own opinion of the hair. But I like it. I think it goes back well with her um 
with her style and I'm I give it a thumbs up so for me it's pretty cool like I said again these are playline dolls and for $15 I think that she looks absolutely gorgeous and let's look at that beautiful face now her eyes are brown and check out that makeup I mean I love her makeup I love it and I mean I just love that eyeshadow I mean I just love the way they did her eyes and as you can see her head does tilt from side to side for a lot of different poses she's wearing a pair of silver hoops and I don't know if the earrings are removable or not they seem like they will slide out they do so the earrings do come out so the earrings are removable if you decide you want to change her up I know so many of you guys like to restyle your dolls to fit the way you like then she also comes with a camera because listen guys this girl is about taking pictures and you know with this crew this is a sisterhood of girls following their wild hearts desires each her own spitfire her own brand of rebel together hand in hand these teens are an unstoppable force for doing what they want being who they are and flipping their collars to anyone who tells them you can't do it tells them that they can't so that's what the wild hearts crew is all about it's what i i i, I think it's awesome guys because these girls are basically saying they are embracing who they are and if you don't like it oh well that's your problem <laughs> and hey isn't that the way it should be so i really like the concept about these dolls but with kina she says people always ask me why i never go anywhere without my camera okay so this is what she says she tells them I would rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, if you know what I mean. Because anything can happen, she says, and then she won't have her camera to catch it, to capture that moment. And in a way, I can understand what she's saying. I don't carry my camera everywhere, but I have my phone on hand. And, you know, I'm always snapping pictures. My daughter gets on me about that all the time. She's like, God, Mama, do you got to take a picture of everything? But, guys, let me tell you something. That is another thing about moments. When you have pictures, you have moments that you can go back to. And I tell you, when you lose someone very close to you or something in your life happens to change your outlook at a point, you have those pictures that are memories that will go on forever. And that is why, you know, I love taking pictures. But her little camera here is removable, as you can see. And I'm going to see if I can't take that off because I want to show you guys. This is the camera, and it's red, and I like how it has the black um, lens cap there on the front, and I like this a lot. It kind of looks like some of the cameras that I've already seen with Barbie. I mean, but it's cool. Like it. Hey, that's her accessory. So, let's go on and look at this outfit that she's wearing. Let me take her off the stand so that I can show you guys. So, her outfit is really cool. I really like it. She's wearing this purple um, mesh um, overlay top. I kind of pushed her sleeves up a little bit because I was trying to look at her joints because I didn't want to bend them because sometimes, you know, they get bent in um, the packaging. All right, so this is what the overlay looks like, the mesh top. It's a purple, dark purple, and it also Velcros in the back. But underneath this, she's wearing a tank. And let's take off the over this part, if I can get the suspenders off. All right, so underneath, she's wearing a tank, and on that tank, and I'm not sure if you guys, I hope you guys can see it, you have this, like a spaceship, and this is a cow with a pair of glasses on, and this is, I guess, the spaceship trying to abduct the cow, I guess, <laughs> because um, I think that that's something that she's into as well. And then her pants, let's talk about these suspenders here. They're made out of the the um, the ribbon um, fabric, and as you can see, they're black with polka dots, and of course, they go all the way around, and they stitch on the front and the back. And then let's look at her pants. All of the designs are stitched on. Um, 
printed on. Um, I think that's awesome. That's cool. Again, for $15, I don't know what else we would have expected, but I think it's cool. She's got a lot of things going on on her pants, you know, a lot of different designs. She's got like a, I think, I don't know if that's supposed to be an alien or a skull head there. She's got a rocket ship. Oh my goodness. There's so many things, so many things here. Space space out i mean there's a lot but i like it then they have the printed on distress look here the holes at the bottom of the knees there and they got the distress look here in the back and then as you can see the pockets are also printed on and the pants velcro in the back i really really like this outfit i like her style and then these are her shoes i call these vans i guess because they look like the shoes that my daughter and my son-in-law wear. And I want to say, my even my little grandbaby has a pair. And they call them Vans. And it kind of looks like that style of shoe. And I really like them. I think they're cute. Really cute. Diff I don't have any kind of shoes like this on any doll that I have in my collection. And let's talk about the articulation. Her arms go out. They go forward and they go back. She bends at the elbow. She has... um. You can twist her wrist back and um, around. She has articulation at the hip. Her jeans are kind of snug, you know. These skinny jeans, you're not going to be doing a whole lot of bending and squatting. But she does have articulation at the hip and at the knee. Okay? None at the ankle. And I think that's really cool. I like the articulation on this doll. I like this doll a lot. I am so excited and so ready to get the other dolls in this collection because I'm telling you, I am really loving Kina. I think she's absolutely stunning. Alright, so it looks like the way I'm going here, trying to put her mesh overlay top back on with the suspenders in the way that there we go and these suspenders can be kind of a nuisance <laughs> all right now that one is still stuck under there and i'm gonna just leave it just like that all right and then i'm gonna just put her camera here but here she is here is my review of my first Wild Hearts crew, Miss Kena Roswell, and I think she's absolutely stunning. I give her, on a scale from 1 to 10, I give the doll a 10. Again, I think it's completely awesome for the price point because I was expecting these dolls to be a whole lot more and they kept the price point down and I think that's really cool. I think you get a lot of things for um, the price for $15 and then I also forgot to show you guys this this is her little pamphlet that comes with her and as you can see it has the camera and the spaceship there on the front and then it has good at photography needs practice taking some things at face value I've been told that sometimes it's okay guys technical difficulties the battery went kaput on me but I was showing you guys the um the little pamphlet that comes with the doll, you know, it folds like this and it starts with her with her name on it. But, you know, it just gives you other little shots, color, um, color snapshots and different things. And then when you open it up, you get this fabulous little poster with the crew all together. And it says, meet the crew, a sisterhood of girls following their wild hearts desires each her own Spitfire, her own brand of Rebel. Now, I think I already read that from the box. But here are the girls, and let me introduce them to you. Starting from the left, we have Corey Cruz, Kena Roswell, J.C. Masters, Riley Ratmore, and Charlie Lake. And I am looking so forward to collecting the whole um, crew. I really am. I'm just, I'm excited about the hunt of looking for them and building the collection until they're all in my collection guys again thank you so much for stopping by don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram on ruby red's world of dolls there as well guys continue being awesome fantastic and fabulous and i will see you in my next review